Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I have a review and demonstration video. So, this is the MFJ269 Pro Antenna Analyzer, and I'll be doing a demonstration and review of it. So, obviously it analyzes antennas, it can do a, it can measure SWR, impedance, it can also do inductance and capacitance on your coax, and some other things. So, let's look at the top I.O. We got an antenna connector and a little connection for ground here. Uh, we have a BNC connector for frequency counter input and then a DC barrel jack for charging the battery. And uh, The battery in here is kind of far gone and it doesn't really work so I'm going to be leaving this plugged in. So on the front here um, starting at the top we have two momentary switches, a power button which obviously turns it on and off, and this UHF button which I'll get back to later. Have a uh, character LCD for using it and operating it. Have two meters SWR and impedance. Uh, we have a mode button because this has multiple different measurements and things you can look at. And then a gate button which does something on one of the modes. Have uh, a knob to select between different frequency ranges and a tuner to pick a specific frequency. So anyway, when you first turn it on, it displays a splash screen and it'll test the battery here. And then it'll take you to the uh, SWR and impedance measuring. So here I'm going to do the uh, 40 meter band and I'll be testing my NFED that I have hung up outside. So that goes from 7 to 7.3 megahertz. So I want 10 to 4. And then here I will start down at the bottom of the band at 7. So here's the SWR. It's about just above 1.7. It's not too good, but it's nothing terrible. This is at the very bottom of the band. And so here I'm going to go all the way up to 7.3. And you can see how the meter changes. So here I'm at the top of the band, and it's now about 1.5. And then there's a sweet spot in the middle where it gets down to about 1.2. Uh, so, and then you can see here it's showing an impedance of about 50, which this is like a standard 50 ohm coax. Um, and then, so let me get back to this UHF button. So you can see the range only goes up to 144, or 114 to 170. But it doesn't go up to the 70 centimeter band. So if you press this button, it'll let you measure the 70 centimeter band. And uh, nearby, oh, let's see here. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be working right now. Well, anyway, this would allow you to uh, measure SWR on the 70 centimeter band. So anyway, let's go to the other modes. So here, this will measure coax loss. And again, you got to put in a specific frequency, so let's do the uh, 40 meter band again. Let's tune to the bottom. So here's that. And the SWR meter will continue to show like normal. And then you can see as I go up to the top of the band. So that'll measure uh, loss in decibels. And then we turn to another mode. This will measure capacitance. And here is the capacitance on this band. And then other mode inductance so this can be handy uh, so let's see you can see if I move the cable around it kinda messes with it um, and then finally have frequency counter and then that's what this gate button does It'll change the gate time. So anyway, let's go back here. It's 
see, I can't seem to get this uh, UHF feature to work. I don't know. Oh, I gotta turn it all the way up. No? Well, anyway, it would allow you to measure the 70 centimeter band. Uh, and of course this, this, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can see I can tune around here, and it'll give me the SWR meter. Um, and then this little bar right here kind of acts like an SWR meter. But anyway, so that's been a review and a demonstration. It's pretty handy little tool, and it measures a lot of different things. It is MFJ, so it's kind of expensive. I don't think you can get this specific model anymore because it does seem kind of old. It says 2005 when you turn it on. But I'm sure the MFJ probably makes other good antenna analyzers. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to anyone looking up this specific analyzer. I hope to see you in the next video.